In this video, I'm gonna show you how to float on water using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey, what's up guys, Drew here and welcome to another video by Tutorials Junction. And as you can see, this is the final output. And this is the background image that we used. And let's look at the model image. So, okay, this. Uh, this is the model image that I started working with. Uh, and this is, I came up with. Okay, so let's create the effect. I'm gonna go to my base file. So this is where we will start working on. And first thing I would like to do is crop the image. So I have my crop tool here uh, and my size in the crop is 1920 by 1080. So this is just standard HD resolution. Okay, so I'm gonna first go and confirm it. But when I do this, I make sure that my delete crop pixel is turned off. So I'm gonna go and hit enter uh, twice to confirm it. Okay, after that, go and get your move tool. After that hold your shift key and drag it so this mountains uh, they are almost in middle it doesn't have to be exact but try to keep them in as middle as possible so I'm gonna go and keep it here. Now let's go and make it look more like a knight so for that I'm gonna go right click on my layer uh, and select blending options. Here first thing I will do is get a gradient overlay and in the style I will make it radial uh, and the gradient is black and white so hit ok. Uh, let's go and make it reverse so dark is outside and this is gonna be here since I already know I will be putting a moon here so let's keep the brightness here and make it all the way 150 and I'm gonna make the opacity 75 okay that's good now go and hit ok now to make it even more darker I'm gonna go to my adjustment layer and select hue and saturation uh, here I'm gonna go and make minus 38 in saturation to get rid of some colors and then minus 38 in lightness to make it more darker and close it. Okay now let's go and add some stars. So for that go to file, place and I'm gonna select the star image, go and place it. Let's go and make it big enough, hold your shift key and make it big enough so it covers the entire sky. So let's go and make it even more. Now let's go and make this edge a little bit softer but before that I'm gonna reduce the opacity so I can see what is going on. Okay that's enough. Uh, now let's go and apply a layer mask here and now to remove the hard edge I'm gonna use gradient actually. So click on your gradient and make sure it's black and white and here I'm gonna go and select the second one uh, and then I'm gonna go and draw a little bit something like this. Okay it's reverse my mistake. Uh, turn off your reverse. Uh, and then do it again. So let's go and don't make it really big. Keep it only around the edge Okay, that's good enough and also make sure whenever you apply this gradient It's on your layer mask and not your image or it will ruin it. Okay, so Careful now. I think the stars look really bright. So I'm gonna reduce the intensity for that go and create a new blank layer uh, get your marquee tool from here rectangular and draw it on top of sky make it a little bit bigger okay that's fine now get your paint bucket tool from here right click and get a paint bucket and get a black color and fill it now i'm gonna go to my select and deselect so selection is gone after that go and make the opacity also somewhere around like make it same as your star layer so it was 46 i think okay now we have to blur out the edge so for that go to filter blur and go to gaussian blur and make it softer don't do it too much okay i think this is fine go and hit okay let's adjust it a bit looking pretty good now let's go and add the moon so for that go to file place and go and select your moon image go and place it uh, hold your shift key and make the moon a little bit smaller that's fine go and confirm it now to blend moon with your background it's really easy just make sure it is on this uh, black layer that we created then right click on your moon layer uh, and go and select create clipping mask and you are done. Now to make reflection of the moon just simply make a copy of this thing Control J uh, Control T uh, so we can flip it so right click and flip vertical now I'm gonna go and put this here and when I do this I will hold my shift key and put it exactly here somewhere around. Then go and confirm it. Now I'm going to change this one's blending mode to screen uh, and then reduce the opacity somewhere around like um, let's say 15% looks fine. 
and now we have to make it look a little bit wavy so for that go to filter then go to distort uh, and in the distort go and select wave here you can see all the numbers then I'm gonna go and hit ok now I'm gonna erase little bit part from here so I'm gonna apply a layer mask on my moon uh, get a brush get a black color and then I will erase it little bit from here you can right click and make sure hardness is 0% so it's really soft uh, and that is fine now we have to create little bit glow on the moon so for that go and create a new blank layer and rename it moon glow and after that make sure that uh, you have white color here and your brush tool uh, and then just simply go and do a click like this and you have moon glow uh, you can reduce the opacity a tiny bit okay now let's go and also add some clouds so my brush is ready now go and select the cloud brushes that you downloaded they are here now i'm gonna go and apply them on a new layer so go and create a new layer and i'm gonna name it clouds now let's go and start applying them okay so after your clouds are done go and change the layers opacity somewhere around like 20 to 25 percent so 23 is good now to make it look like they're fading on the edges i'm gonna go and apply a layer mask and in the layer mask i'm gonna apply a gradient so right click here and get a gradient it is standard black and white but this time i'm gonna go and select the second one and then gonna apply it okay again wrong side <laughs> this time we need to reverse it so go and click on reverse and then go and apply your gradient try it a couple of times okay now if we turn it on and off as you can see they blend a little bit better okay so background is ready and i'm gonna actually go and reduce the opacity of moon reflection a little bit more okay that's fine so now background is finally ready and we can add in the model so i'm gonna go to file place and select the model i already cut it out so i'm just gonna go and place it the original image looks something like this and i cut it out using pen tool um, but if you don't know how to use that you can try quick selection uh, uh, right click here quick selection or you can try this magnetic lasso you can use that one uh, but pen tool is the best so i'm gonna go and make her a little bit bigger so Control t and let's make a bit bigger and also keep her on top of everything here okay now we are good uh, let's adjust it now let's apply some adjustment on the model so first thing i would like to do is go to my adjustment and get a hue saturation and let's make it clipping mask so it only stays on model uh, now here i'm gonna go and make it somewhere around like minus 43 uh, and here I'm gonna make it somewhere around like minus 80 or something like that okay so that looks fine now go and close it now we have to add some contrast in the model so I'm gonna use the original image here make a copy of it Control J and then I'm gonna get this one and put it on top of my hue saturation okay uh, and change this blending mode to soft light uh, and the reduce the opacity i'm gonna make it you know 35 i think it was that okay so keep it somewhere around like 30 40 percent so this gives it a little bit color and contrast which will look better in final output now let's go and create the shadow for the model for that i'm gonna make copy of this thing Control j uh, and first of all let's make the opacity 100 and make it normal okay so we have a simple copy of our model here and then right click here and rasterize your layer now we can directly apply adjustment on it so go to image adjustment uh, and then go to hue saturation and here just make it all the way minus 100 so we have a silhouette now Control t uh, right click and flip vertical now go and put it here but don't touch it uh, like uh, to models fit keep it a little bit down here you know okay now go and confirm it so now it gives it illusion that she is floating uh, and after we do adjustment it will look better so for now this is fine now let's go and apply some blur but before we do that now we're gonna turn it back into smart object so right click and convert to smart object now go to your filter blur and then go to Gaussian blur apply a little bit of blur not too much 
okay this is fine go and hit ok i'm also gonna apply a little bit of waves so for that go to filter distort and go to wave uh, and i'm gonna first apply it to see how it looks okay so it's little bit too much so i'm gonna go to my wave back uh, and make the vertical zero percent and then i'm gonna reduce the amplitude uh, somewhere around like 20 okay a little bit more let's make it 10 okay then go and hit okay a lot better and then reduce the opacity uh, perfect now let's go and add the fake hair so for that i'm gonna go to file place and select the hair png uh, place it right click uh, flip horizontal make it smaller uh, something like this and let's try to adjust it here Okay, now I'm gonna go and erase this unnecessary area. So apply a layer mask, get your brush tool, make sure it's black color and get a nice round brush from here. Uh, now I'm gonna go and make it smaller and remove it from here. Okay, now I'm gonna make another copy of it. So select this and press Ctrl J. Uh, and this time I'm gonna put this one here. Ctrl T, rotate it a little bit. Okay, now we need to match color and lighting and for that we need to group it. So hold your control key and select both copy of hair. Uh, then go and press control G. So they are in single group. Uh, after that, create new adjustment layer and select hue saturation and create a clipping mask. So this one will only stay on hair. Uh, now go and reduce the saturation and then reduce the lightness. Okay, now it's blending a little bit better. Go and close it. I will show you how to fix this thing at the end of the video. Okay, so this is done. Now let's go and make moonlight more powerful. For that, go and create new adjustment layer and select curves. Uh, and then go and make it bright, like really, really bright. Uh, so I think this looks pretty cool. Go and close it. After that, select your layer mask of the curves and press Ctrl I. So the effect is hidden right now, then get your brush tool and here get a white color, make sure opacity is 100%, right click hardness is 0%. Then go and make your brush pretty freaking big, uh, I think this big and then start painting where you need more lighting. Now I'm gonna go and put my curves layer exactly under the model, here. So model doesn't get affected by it and it looks a little bit more realistic this way. After that let's go and boost the colors a little bit. So for that go and create a new adjustment layer and select vibrance and this will go on top of everything. Then go and increase it a little bit. Keep it somewhere around like 50-60% looks good. After that go and create another adjustment layer and select curves. This time go and make a dot here. Uh, and I'm gonna go and lift up shadows a little bit because image is already really dark in the edges So I'm gonna lift it, uh, lift it up a little bit Okay, then I'm gonna go to my blues and apply that vintage look which will look really nice because we have this really strong lighting and shadows in same image So I'm gonna go and apply a little bit of blue. Don't overdo it. Just keep it minimum Okay, now also a little bit of yellow That looks nice go and close it now we have to apply a little bit of rim lighting on the shoulder so model separates better from the background for that uh, do you know this hue saturation layer this is making the model darker right uh, so i'm gonna go and select this one uh, get my brush tool uh, and make it black and make sure i'm painting on the mask uh, and then go and start removing it from borders a little bit Okay, so the effect is ready. Now we have to give it a little bit final touches. So for that first thing, let's go and make the curves a little bit brighter. So I'm going to double click here and give the moon a little bit more lighting. Uh, I think that looks cool. And then go and close it. Also, I'm going to go to this curves and add a little bit more blue to give it more night like feeling.
Okay, I completely forgot about fixing the hair. So for that, go and create a new blank layer. Uh, and here, right click on your brush and get a mixer brush tool. Uh, and here, make sure you have sample all layer ready. Uh, and in the brush, go and select very wet, heavy mix. Okay, now zoom in here. Uh, and go and start painting make your make sure your brush is really small and the hardness is like 15 20 percent then go and start painting here and keep doing it until it starts mixing up okay it will take it will take some time but do it Okay, so now if I turn it on and off, you can see the difference and this is really rushed work, okay? So if you take your time and paint carefully, uh, you can do it. And also I increased my flow to somewhere like 50% so I can do it a little bit more faster. So yes, you can do it this way. And that was the final step and the tutorial is done. So I really hope that you guys learned something and if you did, Hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions ask me in comment section below also if you are new here you can click on any of these boxes to check out more videos by me and you can also subscribe to my channel so every time i upload a new video you will get the update plus clicking on that subscribe button will take you to my youtube channel where i have tons of photoshop tutorials only for you so till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop